Hi everyone, Michelle here from the Junk Journal Studio. I am doing a flip through today of my 37 page fall collage and cluster mega pack. I just uploaded it in my shop a few days ago and it is 37 pages filled with beautiful fall ephemera for making little collages and clusters and collage strips and master boards and all kinds of beautiful things fall. So we will do a flip through of it and you will be able to see a lot of this stuff can be used all year round. So although it's perfect for fall, you can use it at other times too. So the first four pages are these little collage strips. I was kind of thinking of the Tim Holtz um, one and a half inch wide collage strips that he recently published when I designed these first um, bunch of pages. Because if you use your ruler or your paper cutter and you cut one of these in half, it's just slightly over one and a half. So essentially you could use all bits and pieces of these to make those collage strips really easily if you wanted to do that. However, I also left them in such a way that you could just cut this out and turn it into a tag base or a journal card or a piece of ephemera or for clusters. It just goes on and on. So lots of applications. I tried to include lots of different colors and tones and styles of font and stuff to keep your, your pieces interesting. I really like diagrams and that sorts of things as well numbers and ledger just all kinds of really beautiful ephemera i think these two are my favorite i love the faux tape it looks fantastic and i mean this right here perfect little pocket perfect little journal card put some um, fussy cuts on there a couple of labels and good to go super pretty okay and then the next few pages are the same width tear them in half make the um, collage strips or use them as bases or however you'd like to use them. I have all the different fall colors. So we have orange, we have yellows, yellows and reds. This is kind of like a bit of a coral green coordinates perfectly with that. So that these pages coming up here, a lot of them are coordinated really well with each other so it would be perfect for making different layouts on your journal pages or your cards or what have you beautiful reds and golds and browns browns and golds this one here is it looks glittery underneath the leaves i really like it a lot it's super pretty beautiful browns and more caramel toffee colored super pretty beautiful floral prints a little bit of an orange i just love these three swatches super pretty okay so those were the colored um and printed patterns now we're getting into the ephemera pieces so these ones here are perfect obviously to you could use them in your collage strips but perfect for making clusters or tuck spots or putting just like ephemera into pockets so we have several pages quite neutral so lots of versatility really love how these turned out they're so pretty and another page and another page we're starting to get into a little bit more color here these two pages are those four pages i just showed you of the ephemera shrunk down to smaller sizes so really perfect for making little clusters and then these are super fun, two inches, one and a half and one inch. However, they're just a hair bigger than that. So that when you go come in with your punch and you go to punch, it's not um, difficult to try and keep the white out. Got a little bit of a buffer there. These will be super cool to and fun to tear into. And then we have some 
cl um, sorry, cluster making materials. Just really cool, beautiful fall pieces of authentic ephemera. And another page. I love these ladies. I think these four right here are my favorite. So pretty. And then we come into my tea cards. These are a little larger than your, you know, uh, an authentic tea card. And there was a reason that I made them that big. Um, they're perfect for putting on a tag as the focal point or so many other ways. But also, if you just cut this white border off on each side, they're the perfect width for um, a collage strip. One of those one and a half inch collage strips. So that's why I made them this size. These are all brand new cool labels. And here the rest of the tea cards are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 16 different tea cards. Super pretty. Really love how they turned out. And then these are a size down, the medium size. And then we get into the small size here, which is great to use kind of like a label or just in one of your uh, clusters, you could take one of the neutral um, pieces of ephemera that we flipped through earlier and then add this as your focal point for your cluster, maybe a leaf or a ticket and or a word and you're good to go. So there's the rest of them in the small and then here's some beautiful labels. This one is super pretty. I really like it a lot. And then we get into my stamps. So there are three, six times four, 24 different, absolutely beautiful, in my opinion, anyways, autumn, fall stamps, really pretty. These ones are sized, uh, let me just double check. Yes, okay, so I left the brown, I put some brown backing underneath the stamp so that if you didn't want to fuss with all of you know the the edge of a stamp you could just cut it out on the brown and then i put the postage cancellation uh, stamps and stuff over the stamp and the brown so it looks very authentic the brown kind of looks like it was the color of the postcard or the envelope that the stamp was on so you can just cut it out including the brown and it's the perfect width for the collage strips However, I did shrink them down so they look far more authentic here in these smaller sizes. We have some fun buttons. And then what I did was I took those stamps and I enlarged them and took all the cancellation stamps off of them. So these ones here, I believe if you cut the white off, the picture is one and a half. Yep, so perfect for the strips. However, beautiful for clusters and on and on. All kinds of wonderful fall goodness so we have these there's the rest of them and then we have them in one size smaller i just love them they're so pretty and these are just random funness there's a few letters here you could just rip this down the center and it's going to be one and a half inch just slightly over the one and a half inch width However, you could tear them out individually or cut them just using for decoration, some fun fall colors. These look really pretty if you cut this one out and you put it on top of that one and then you put um, a brad through the center and then kind of curl up some of the flower petals with your scissors or your, just your fingers. It looks super pretty. And there's some fantastic leaves that you can cut out to add to your clusters or for decorating. And then some more leaves and some awesome tickets, all different colors, shapes, sizes. And then we have some great labels. Um, pretty much kind of from here over are the labels and then they're offered in a medium and then a small as well for your convenience when decorating. Then we have a whole sheet of words and some dates and some numbers. Okay, and last but definitely not least, I'd like to introduce you to the Junk Journal Studios design team. 
Candace and Margaret have been with the Junk Journal Studio for a while. However, Mindy, Debbie, Cindy, Annie, Belinda, Jenny, and Peggy are brand new to the design team, and I couldn't be more excited to introduce you to them. You'll be hearing lots more about them in the future. However, just know that whenever you'd like to hop on over to one of their channels, subscribe to follow along, see them working with the Junctional Studios Digitals. You can find their link in the description box of all of our videos. And you'll also find other social media links for them there as well. So please hop on over, show them some support. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.